Hello everyone. Welcome to our next installment of Little Devotions or um, Where is Bill Little in Elizabeth? So, any idea where I am right here? Hmm. Well, let me, uh, let me walk outside and see if it helps. Ah, I'm at Mount Vernon Cemetery. Oh, there goes somebody on a tractor to cut the grass out here. So, when I walk past cemeteries or drive past cemeteries, I often wonder to myself, I wonder how many tears have been shed in this place. I asked Joy Cullen how many people are buried here, and she said about 17 thousand I thought that's a lot of tears but you know it occurs to me that for those of us in the Christian faith cemeteries although they're sad places um, they don't always have to be sad places for this reason that we really believe that cemeteries are really the beginning of eternity for us because we believe in the resurrection of the dead. The word that's used in the Greek New Testament for resurrection is the word anastasis. And anastasis basically means taking something that's not well and making it well again. So when we talk about anastasis or resurrection, we talk about those who are dead and making them alive. Paul says in 1 Corinthians that if Jesus had not been resurrected from the dead, then we would be without hope. He goes on to say, but he was resurrected from the dead. And so because of that, we do have hope. So we have hope, my friends. Hope that a day will come when we will join our Lord and our Savior for all eternity in a place called heaven. Go in peace. Have a great day.